Hello everyone. Uh, today in my new sharing, I'm going to talk about uh, the International Space Station. This International Space Station has been orbiting our planet since 1998. It's being powered by solar energy, as you can see the solar panels on its sides. Now this energy is necessary to power the six laboratories and all the living space on board. It's about the size of an American football field. The ISS has two bathrooms, a gym, and more than a six bedroom house. It's that big. For most locations on earth, assuming you have clear night skies, you can see ISS for yourself. Uh, from earth, if you look up and it's a clear bright sky, you can see La, the ISS like a bright star moving quickly from horizon to horizon. This ISS, International Space Station, is a joint project which involves five space agencies, mainly uh, USA, Russia, Japan, Canada, and European Space Agency, which has agencies from France, Brazil, Malaysia, South Korea, and Italy. Astronauts float around in space because there is no gravity. Everyone knows that the farther you get from Earth, the less the gravitational force is. Well, astronauts are so far from the Earth that gravity is so small. That's why NASA calls it microgravity. At one time, there were around 13 astronauts in the space station. Bit crowded, isn't it? Inside the space station, crews are not only responsible for scientific research, but they're also responsible for maintaining the station. Sometimes, this requires that they venture on spacewalks to perform repairs. From time to time, these repairs can be urgent, such as when part of the system fails, and this has happened a couple of times. What do astronauts eat up there? Now, they eat frozen vegetables, refrigerated food, fruit, and dairy products. The menu on the ISS includes more than 100 items. Astronauts choose the daily menus long before they board the space station. There are three meals per day, plus snacks that can be eaten at any time. So how do astronauts stay fit in space? They can't simply lift some dumbbells. To minimize the effects of microgravity, NASA has equipped the ISS with some fancy fitness equipment. There's a treadmill, a stationary bike, and device that stimulates weightlifting. SpaceX made history flying NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Pentkin to space aboard its Crew Dragon spacecraft using a Falcon 9 rocket, the launch titled Demo. In this slide, you can see uh, two astronauts, Doug Hurley and Bob Pentkin, giving each other uh, fist bumps. Here you see NASA astronauts, they arrived at the International Space Station and they joined Expedition 63 with other astronauts. This is the end of my presentation and if you want to know more about uh, the International Space Station and its latest research, please log on to NASA.